Mm. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. I am trying to use a 3D pen for the first time. They're really cool, it's like a hot glue gun that melts and moulds different coloured plastics out the other end of the pen. So this is the first time I'm trying to really live up to the name of a scientific art channel. Before I've alternated between a science video and an art video but now I'm trying to combine both together. I'm just gonna go through this video, try explain some more about crabs, their anatomy in particular since I'm building it up and then uh, also talk you through what I'm doing. So I was drawing on glass to start with but that didn't work so i have using a bit of a plastic bag which gives us a bit more grip. Now as I'm drawing the legs of the crab I'm only drawing four segments. Crabs have more than four segments on their legs, they have seven. They are the coxa, the basis, I'm gonna go with it's the Itchum, I have no idea, the Meris, the Carpus, the Protopus and the Dactyl at the end. But that's far too fiddly for me to fit into this 3D pen, um, so I've just stuck to the four and thought I'd tell you about the seven later. So after drawing the flat traced shape, I go over it with the filament and kind of wrap it round and then it dries in the air so it gets a 3D shape of the leg. So very fittingly into this video, crabs are part of the phylum arthropoda, which actually means that they have jointed legs, and they have a lot of them. They are decapods, which means that they have 10 legs in total, 10 limbs. They have four on one side of their body and four on the other. They're called parapods and they're the walking legs. And then at the front they have two claws. These claws are called chela. They are split into two bits. The dactyl, which is like the movable pincy bit. And then the bit that doesn't move is called the protopus. So this next bit I'm making is basically the body of a crab. It's the thorax, which is pretty much the fancy word for a body, and the head, as they're fused together. To make this body, I use the filament and let it dry to make the sides to build up in a 3D way. And then you have to kind of make meshes in between because the filament's not strong enough to stretch over a long distance. And a crab has kind of got like a, a curved top to its shell. So I'm drawing out the filament and letting it hang and giving it a couple of seconds and it will dry curved so now I have all my individual parts, it's time for me to start building up the shape of the crab. To join two bits of already dried filament together, you can just use some new filament. It gets extremely hot, so you have to be careful, but it melts the plastic either side and joins it together. So I just did this for every single joint that I had and started to build up something that looked pretty much like a crab. So here we have the finished, I'm going to go with mesh. It's a mesh of a crab. It doesn't stand up on its own yet, which is why I have that little stand there. But I think it looks cool. I think it looks like a crab. It's got claws, it's got the right amount of legs, hopefully. And uh, I think that kind of went well. So now onto the colour. So with a 3D pen, you have to wait for it to heat up. You plug it in, let it heat up. You shouldn't really use it for more than a couple of hours at a time, just to make it safe. And you feed through the filament at one end and it melts it. The filament at the bottom coming out now is the filament I used before, so you kind of have to wait. Then when you've got the right colour coming out at the end of the 3D pen, you are ready to go. So I then spent hours, and I mean hours, filling in the rest of this crap. Uh, you just kind of have to colour and keep going, it's like a very intensive 3D colouring book at this point. I shouldn't really complain because I'm only making one crab with one heart shell. Actually crabs will have more than one shell in their lifetime because every time they need to grow they have to shed their shell which protects them. Can, I mean can you imagine every time you wanted to get bigger you had to literally shed the outside of your body off and jump out of your shell, try and hide from some hungry predators that can eat you because you're all soft and naked pretty much, and then have to regrow your shell really quickly. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. That completely blows my mind that that has to happen just so that it can grow. If I was a crab, I would not mind being as short as I am now because that seems like the far easier option. 
but this does actually let crabs have some pretty cool features. They can regrow their limbs. It apparently takes three molts to get whatever limb, including claws that have fallen off to go back to full size. But I think that's pretty cool. I think that's really neat. The other thing as well is that crabs can only mate when the shells are off because otherwise the shell gets in the way. So I suppose molting your shell isn't all bad. But back to how long this has taken me. Seriously, this took ages. Um, just to kind of show you how long it's taking, I've gone into real time. Of all the fishes you've seen so far, it's been six times the speed. And so this is the actual speed it's taking. I didn't let this run for too long because I too got bored watching myself just go on and on and on. Despite this taking a lot longer than I thought it would, I had so much fun. I got to completely zone out and relax. And really, you are genuinely only limited by your imagination. That, for me, might only stretch to marine creatures, but you could make anything with this. I think it is such a good invention. So I spent a good while filling this in and trying to get rid of all the gaps that you can see, ready to put on some anatomical features, bearing in mind the entire point of this uh, video is to explain the anatomy of a crab, and my camera decides to cut out at the point that I am drawing on the anatomical features. So I'm going to pause it, right here and explain how you tell the difference between a male and female crab. I mean that's not something you need in your everyday life but maybe you're interested. The triangle that I'm pointing to now is where you need to look to tell if it's a male or a female crab. If the triangle is narrow and pointy then it is a male crab and if it's broader and rounder then it is a female crab and that's where she will store her eggs. Now back to the regular moving video. Here I'm drawing on the mouth. If you go rock pulling and pick up a crab out of water, quite often they will bubble at the mouth, so that's where you tell where it is. But it is quite obvious where it is anyway, it's just under the eyes where you would imagine the claws would put food. And then I just go on the edge of the shell and draw in basically the spiky bits of a crab's shell, which its fancy name is the anterior lateral teeth of the carapace. Now this is my favorite bit. Devil crabs are amazingly gorgeous crab species. I didn't realise you could get such vivid colours on them. And on their legs, they actually have almost like this deep, slightly almost iridescent kind of royal blue. So adding that in after so many hours of just colouring in brown was super fun. And uh, this next bit's good too. So devil crabs are called devil crabs because they have these very very red bright red eyes it makes them look evil they are angry species uh, they will attack anything they find and their eyes live up to their expectations they say eyes are the windows to the soul well that phrase was kind of made for devil crab now onto the last addition to this 3d crab is something that's really cool about this species is that they are swimming crabs which means that they have flattened back legs that allow them to swim so I'm adding on, you'll see it if you see one in real life, they look a bit feathery on their back legs as well as flat. It's like adding a paddle or flippers onto the back of a crab so that they can swim better. Does anyone remember ice gems? They were like this little biscuit thing with this really sweet bit of sugar on top. Uh, this shape that I'm making as I'm making the swimming legs kind of reminds me of ice gems and then I really wanted one. <laughs> anyway, cue the epic music, it's time for the final reveal. really really love this guy and what I love most about it is that I would never ever find a devil crab statue or something I can put on my desk ever I don't think and I got to make one myself and I also kind of think it looks a bit like my art style but in 3d and it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be even though it's not like amazing I honestly didn't think I could make a whole crab out of it and I managed to so for myself I'm randomly pleased but I will leave you with some crab handling advice. Never pick up a crab like this, it will nip you. Always grab it by the last anterior lateral teeth of the carapace, like so.
Ta-da! Hope you guys like that video and uh, see you next week.